Hello and welcome to my F124 driver career mode here today for part 24 for the Spanish Grand Prix. We're back in Europe after our small trip to Canada last time out. As we come into qualifying now, and as we come into the final couple of corners, we've set to pass with both sectors on our first lap, of course. And now up to the line, and that lap's good enough. Okay. To put us just inside the top 10. We went again on the same set of tyres and we found just over two tenths and we come up to the line and we go up into P8. And our final run we completely mistimed, so that was our last run. Max Verstappen is on pole with Lando Norris alongside Fernando Alonso and Lewis Hamilton, Perez and Piastri, and then we are alongside Charles Leclerc, and then it's Lance Stroll and Carlos Sainz. So this is it then. The five red lights come on ahead of the Spanish Grand Prix. And it's lights out and away we go and we've got a new other wheels going off the line but we've got a good second phase, we're alongside Leclerc, we're ahead of Leclerc, everyone's all over the pace, Lando Norris has gone backwards at the start, we're going to look to go to the inside of Charles Leclerc, he's coming it around the outside, now we have the outside line for turn 2, that will turn back to the inside line for turn 3 and we get ahead of the Ferrari and up into P7 now. As we cover off the inside into turn four, but we've run wide. We've run wide and we've opened the door for Charles Leclerc to rear the takers now. But we're going to send it straight back down the inside of turn five and retake that position pretty much straight away from the Ferrari. The next up the road is the two McLarens. This is Lando Norris start from P2 and he's just gone absolutely nowhere through those three cars. Lewis Hamilton's up into P2. Now skip on to lap 4. We're just trying to stay in touch with the McLaren. And we've sent it down the inside of Oscar Piastri. We get the job done on the McLaren. We were waiting, we were waiting. And Charles Leclerc as well gets the job done on Oscar Piastri. He's lost two places there. And now I feel like we've got fairly decent pace in these early stages. Can we get after it? Lando Norris, but we couldn't, and Lando started to pull away, and we started to drop back a bit, and now we're going to be left vulnerable to the Ferrari of Charles Leclerc, he's alongside us, and now ahead of us, and Oscar Piastri now is trying to follow him through, then there's literally nothing we can do about that, we've been blocked off by Charles Leclerc, but we've tried to get back round the outside of Oscar Piastri, but they've both got us, we've lost two places there in one corner. And I think we may have had some damage. Maybe we hit the Astro, but we've been absolutely mugged now by Science. They stroll on the inside. Albon's trying to get round the outside of us. We're off the track. Albon now nearly got um, Espan Ocon after we pushed him wide. Now we've gone off the track. We've nearly gone into the gravel. We've lost out to Albon. We've lost so many places on this lap. I think we have some sort of damage. If there is Sonoda on the outside of us, we have a little bubble. We've made contact with Sonoda. We're over the grass and we've gone through the polystyrene barrier. The yeah, RB is completely off the track through the gravel. We've made contact with him and we've dropped all the way down to P14. It's not been the best lap in the world for us. And I think we've got to have some sort of damage. We've struggling so much as they're down the inside goes to Salva into the penultimate corner we try and hold it around the outside it's still there though he's Joe he's Bottas keep Bottas behind for now those in front have disappeared now going down the pit straight Bottas gets us we're now in a Salva sandwich both of them have got us down into turn one but we're going to sweep back around the outside and re-overtake both of them that is a great move, if I do so say myself. But this has turned into Silverstone from last season, really. When we started on from pole there, and in eight laps we were last. And it's sort of happening again here. Lap seven, we've run wide. Bottas has got up the inside of us. He's now going to have the outside line. We try and defend the inside. But we really push him off the track there. Right to the edge, really aggressive. And now Joe's coming under pressure from his teammate as we head down into the new section. And Joe is through on his teammate and passed. 
and this is the battle in 4P14 and you see Yuki Tsunoda now he's trying to get his way back through after that contact with us and Joe, Joe is passed there's nothing we can do about that we're tucked back in the slipstream Bottas now is on the outside we're gonna try and go back around the outside of Joe Bottas now might be done by the RB we're side by side now with Joe trying to hang it around the outside at turn 3 but the Salva has got us Bottas is still side by side with with Sonoda I think Sonoda's still holding it around the outside I think he's got the job done though now on the inside goes Sonoda Bottas isn't giving up here Joe's gone down the road from us and Sonoda is through on Bottas what a battle that was as now we head up we've made a little mistake there heading up into the blind corner Sonoda's trying to get down the inside of us as now we run a bit wide can we have a clean battle with Sonoda this time round the outside goes Sonoda we show him the door the long way round and that's it Bottas had a little look back up the inside trying to rehabilitate the RB there but we've run wide we've run wide and that's opened the door for Yuki Sonoda to get up the inside we hold it round the outside he's still there on the inside Sonoda has got us we're down to P 16 now though we don't even have the DRS we're, we're absolutely a sitting duck now Sonoda has a DRS we're going to go back down the inside we nearly dropped it but we're past Sonoda again back up into 15th lap 9 in this Grand Prix on to lap 11 now Sonoda is going to go to the outside to the inside guys Bottas as well both of them have got us they're going to be side by side there's nothing we can do try and hang it around the outside of Bottas really briefly off the track but both of them have got us we're down into P17 in this Grand Prix behind us now is the house of Nico Hülkenberg and then it's Ricardo who's having the best of starts to the seasons but he's not too far off his teammate this is now Hülkenberg He's a little bit too far back to have a look at us, but we've run wide. Hulkenberg's up the inside. We're now going to have the inside line for the next corner. Try and force him the long way around, but Hulkenberg has kept it pinned and driven all the way around the outside of us. And he's ahead. And we're very much looking at last place here. The pace has gone ever since we over to Piastri. I think we must have made contact with him because we've struggled so much since then. There goes through nearly as we send it back down the inside of Hulkenberg. We rehabilitate Hulkenberg and nearly lost out to the RB of Ricardo. Hulkenberg's cut his back down. Ricardo now on the outside, trying to get round the outside. We show him the door is too far back. Hulkenberg's gone. Ricardo now trying to go to the outside of us. He's going to get round the outside of us briefly. He's still there though round the outside there's not really anything we can do about this that's going to turn to the inside line we're going to try and hold it around the outside but Daniel Ricciardo has got the job done on us and now Logan Sargent in the house is eyeing up a move on us and he's going to try and look to get us down the inside at the final corner now if we head down turn one we should have the DRS but we don't Sargent does we're staring at last place here potentially. Sergeant's going to go to the inside, but he's too far back to do anything. So as we round the penultimate corner now, at the end of lap 13, we are going to pit for our one and only stop of the day. Starting on the soft tyres, we're going to be going up to the mediums to get us to the end of the race. That was the quickest strategy that Mark gave us, but there's a lot of cars out there on the medium, so I'm guessing they're going medium to hard. Is now the soft tyres will go off, the mediums will go on, and now we trundle down the pit lane and hopefully we can gain a bit of time on Logan Sargent potentially, as there's Daniel Ricciardo coming out of the pits just up the road from us. Into time when we go, we need this to be a good outlap. Maybe we can undercut Sargent in a way and pull a bit of time out on him as into the pits he comes. He's going to be going on to the hard tyres after he takes off. These other ones are now out of the pits he comes. Now, where are we? 
out of the pits from Sergeant. We're nowhere to be seen. There we are, just coming over the brow of the hill. But Sergeant is already into turn one before we are anywhere near turn one. And that may well be it for us if we haven't got the pace on these medium tyres. It's on to lap 20. Sergeant was pulling away. You can see the gap there. The safety car was was deployed for some reason. There was no one out of the race. There was no debris on the track. I think the the FIA just felt a bit sorry for us. As we make a big mistake coming through the penultimate corner. As we're looking to catch the safety car. Down the pit straight we go to catch it. This may give us a bit of a lifeline in this race. Maybe we can gain a couple of places on the restart. Ultimately, we're probably going to lose them again as we really have to anchor up to avoid overtaking the pass. So we had way too much speed. But now going down the pit straight, everyone goes. And that is Pierre Gasly in the Alpine, slowing down. And he looks to be out of the race. And he is out of the race. Look at the smoke. His engine has gone bang. Gasly's day done and on lap 23 we can think about going and racing again. The safety car is coming in. Max Verstappen will lead him will lead us away. It's a Red Bull 1-2. Lando has recovered from his bad start into P3. And now hopefully we can gain a couple of places on the restart. Maybe we can get Logan Sargent as now we go into the final corner and we are back racing again for the Spanish Grand Prix and now we're right on the back of Logan Sargent I think this is going to have to be quite a big dive into turn one that's exactly what we're going to do there's yellow flags for some reason but we don't care about that because we're past Logan Sargent now can we get up the road from Logan Sargent as we make a big mistake going through the blind turn nine and Sergeant is ahead of us. We're going to send it back down the inside of him though. As we have a little wobble. Sergeant is keeping it pinned all the way around the outside. We then have the outside line. But Sergeant has got us. Now can we get him back? We have dropped a little bit through those couple of corners because of the dirty air. But we will still have the DRS. Can we get him back into turn one? We're going to be using the battery. We've already got the DRS open. We're getting closer and closer. And we're going for it. Down the inside. Into turn one. We show him the door. He has to back out. And that is dropped on the back path, Sergeant. Those at the road, though, are pulling away. We've made a mistake, though. And now Sergeant will have the DRS. But he's too far back to do anything. As we go into turn 10. And we've dropped it. We've dropped it. We've gone off the track. We're over the grass. Sergeant's gone through. We're down into last place. As we make a big, big mistake there. And now go through the penultimate corner. And I just decided, what's the point of carrying on in this race? I don't like giving up, but we've gone from P6 all the way down to the back. We're making mistakes. We've got absolutely no pace whatsoever. It's just a painful race. So on lap 27, which is six laps to go, our race is over as we're going to save the engine. So that's been then the Spanish Grand Prix. Disappointing for us, Max Verstappen has won the Spanish Grand Prix. Another win for him this season. Charles Leclerc had a great resurgence to get up into P2. Perez dropping down into P3. Piastri gets past Lando. Lando dropping from P3 to P5. Albon getting a point for us in P nine which is good it's not the best of days for us it's sort of copy and paste of silverstone last season when we started on pole and by lap eight we were last and we retired on that day unfortunately i can't show you the driver's championships and the rest of the finishing order because the footage for the race itself started to corrupt make sure that doesn't happen for next time out at Silverstone, my home Grand Prix, and we're looking to not have a repeat of last season and hopefully get some points on the board. I'll see you next time out for the British Grand Prix. Goodbye.